Capricorn and Peeps. Are you ready to read? This is just a chapter, a few verses actually, out of the Bible that we're going to read today. It is Luke 20, and we're reading 9 through 19. He went on to tell the people this parable. A man planted a vineyard, rented it to some farmers, and went away for a long time. At harvest time, he sent a servant to the tenants so they would give him some of the fruit of the vineyard. But the tenant beat him and sent him away empty-handed. He sent another servant, but that one also they beat and treated shamefully and sent away empty-handed. He sent a third, and they wounded him and threw him out. Then the owner of the vineyard said, What shall I do? I will send my son, whom I love. Perhaps they will respect him. But when the tenants saw him, they talked the matter over. This is the heir, they said. Let's kill him, and the inheritance will be ours. So they threw him out of the vineyard, and they killed him. What then will the owner of the vineyard do to them? He will come and kill those tenants and give the vineyard to others. When the people heard this, they said, God forbid. Jesus looked directly at them and asked, Then what is the meaning of that which is written? The stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. Everyone who falls on the stone will be broken to pieces. Anyone on whom it falls will be crushed. The teacher of the law and the chief priest looked for a way to arrest him immediately because they knew he had spoken this parable against them, but they were afraid of the people. I love that story because it's actually about Jesus' people, you know, and about Jesus himself. Because he came to this earth to claim his, his, his people, his property. I don't like that word, property, but... He came to claim us and to take us home and look what they did to him. <laughs> but it all was for us, every bit of it. And I'm so grateful that he was willing to do that for us. Save us from our mess. Um, I have a couple of songs here. The first one is called Fill My Cup, Lord. And it's by Vocal Union. Um, I just, I really like that one. That one is, okay, any of these songs I give you, I really like. And I have them on my playlist, so I'm just sharing them. The other one is Your Grace Still Amazes Me by Philip Craigs and Dean. That's another one of those that, because I'm amazed at what God has done for me by sending his son, you know, it, it goes right in there. Um, your grace still amazes me because he accepts me even though I'm a mess. <laughs> An absolute mess. I have my book peeps. Heavenly Father, I am so grateful that you sent your son. I'm sorry that there are humans of us who treated him so poorly. But he is my savior and I am so very grateful. I'm bringing up my peeps, Lord, the ones that are in the book and the ones that are listening. Wrap your love around them, please. And most of all, they want to thank you, too, for sending your son to save them. Because we are all human and sinners here on this earth. Forgive us, Lord. All this I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. That's it, peeps. I hope this finds you absolutely amazing. Stay blessed. Until next time. Hey, you made it to the end. Please hit like and subscribe and thanks for watching.